we have uh, two session objectives uh, in this session. Uh, one is to understand the goal, uh, clarify ourselves about the goal that we are chasing, that's number one. And the number two is to understand the secrets behind uh, what goes into accomplishing these goals. And it is important to know that it's just not knowledge of maths or physics or chemistry but some other things which are very important and which are very critical to accomplish these goals. The twin objectives of the session, to repeat, are one is understanding the goal setting, second is the process of or the secrets of accomplishing the goals that we have set for ourselves. Thank you. Okay, so welcome to, welcome to what? Classes. That's a means to an end, right? Welcome to Arunraj's classes, which is a means to an end. What is the end? IITs. The IITs, not the IITJE, even that's a means to an end. Right? What is the goal? IIT. No? Yes or no? Yes. Sir. How many of you want to go to the IITs? Don't tell me everybody wants to go to IIT. Of course. Of course you want to go to the IIT, right? What else? Why am I here? And there are enough seats, you have about 1000 and we are only 50 of us. What is the session going to be on? Let me see if anybody can guess. Orientation. Orientation to what? Maths, physics, chemistry, IIT, electrochemistry. Have you heard of one uh, saying that begin with the end in mind? Have you heard about it ever? Yeah? Okay, we will talk about we will talk about a couple of things that maybe it has, not, it has not been spoken to in your schools earlier, but you will hear a lot of us speaking about it lots of times. When I talk to you, when Sanjay Padesa talks to you, when Arun Raisan speaks with you, we talk about lots of things which are other than maths, physics and chemistry, which are very important to do well uh, in, in, in a career. And uh, one of those things is... And... Goal setting is very important. Goal setting is very important. Yes or no? Yes. But even more important is getting there. Goal setting is about establishing motivation, establishing how committed I am to get, get to get to some place, articulating it very clearly without any confusion. But the more important thing is Am I committing myself on a day-to-day -day basis to get there? Okay, you are going to have your beginning very early. We are beginning, you, and each one of you is beginning with an orientation class that tells me a few things about you. That one, your scores in the in the ARC test has been good. Yes or no? Anybody scores of seven? I hope he's not in the class. Seventeen. How many of you are about thirty-five? Okay. Don't give the test. Oh, who else? Okay, good. That's a very good score in terms of your innate ability. You know that. That's where, with the experience of all the sirs here, we know that you know the score of this class says that the basic raw material is in place. Now it's a question of converting converting it into uh, action plan on a day to day basis. So we we'll spend some time on this, but we we'll also get into the Introduction to physics part in the, in the last last car. Okay, 10, 30, 10, 30, we'll do this. Get into physics. Okay. Uh, well, let, let me introduce myself. And whenever I ask you to speak, please give me your name. I'll try to remember. You also try to remember my name if possible. Okay, it's easy for you, no? My little more difficult for me. Okay. My name is Satya, Satya Narayanan. You'll see me in a few classes. If I'm good enough, uh, I did my graduation in uh, in, in uh, sciences. I'm only a BSc BSc computer science, so I'm not. Even, I did not even go to the IITs. Okay, you come for the class. What is the time? Why are you late? Well, that's not an excuse. I'm coming from here. Not again. Okay. One, two, you came with mom? You shouted at mom, why is she late? 
or she shouted at you, why are you late? Nobody did it, so I am the bad guy. Okay, alright. Okay, first tell me, first tell me, is this important at all? Let's get into the session, is this important at all? Why are you wasting two hours? Why don't we start with maths? Let's start with number systems, we will finish orientation to number systems in two hours. Why this session at all? They just, they just, they just says without goals there is nothing. What else? Goal setting is important for each other. Keep setting. Goal setting is important for each other. Very important to reach the end target. Reach the end target. And what is your end target? IIT. IIT. Which IIT? IIT Mumbai. Okay. Okay. Why is goal setting important? Unless you don't have an aim, you can't strive towards that. What, so is, like, what, what is your aim? Like passing this exam, IIT and like... Okay, and, and teach stream. Suppose God were to give you a wish, you will pass the IIT exam. Where do you want to go? Which IIT? I didn't get it. Which IIT would you want to go to? You will, you will pass the exam. Yeah. Which IIT would you want to go to? After this Chennai, Kodakpur, Kanpur, Delhi, Bombay. 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 Which, which branch have you thought about it? No, not yet. No. Okay, very good. Very good. Uh, unless uh, we need to know why we are doing what we are doing. Why I am doing what I am doing. Not all we do. Eh? Very good. What's your name? Nikita. Nikita. Nikita says, I want to know why am I doing what I am doing. What's your name? Mehul. Mehul. What is your goal? ID. ID. ID rookie. Okay, why? I I heard it's the best. Okay, is there any particular branch that you have in mind? Yeah, rookie. Okay, no. Branch. Branch, no. No. Anybody wants to go out of Bombay? Not many. One rookie we saw. Which one? Why? Hometown. Chennai. Chennai. Which branch? Aeronautical engineering. What? Chennai is good for aeronautical engineering? You heard that. Okay. KGP. You know what is Kharagpur called? KGP. I have a magic problem with me. I have a very simple magic question with me. And if you do this right today, you can go back home and tell your dad or mom that they should book your ticket to get into the IITs. I can tell you today in the next five minutes whether you will get into the dream branch in your dream IIT or not. Do you want to know it? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So pick out, pick out your papers, pencils. I will give you the problem. If anybody has done it earlier, do let me know. Okay. I will give you another problem instead of this. Can you make, uh, make this kind of a pattern on your sheet of paper? Nine dots. Nine dots. Sir. Done this? I'll give you another one. Tell me if, if you have done the problem that I'm giving you. Okay? Anybody else who has done it? Tejas has done it. Anybody else? Okay, good. So IIT paper is not a leak. Okay? Now I will repeat the question only once. Okay? So be, be very, very attentive. I will repeat the question only once and then you have only two minutes to solve this problem. And you do this right, you can go back and book your ticket to Kharagpur or Chennai or IIT Bombay, wherever, okay? You have to join, how many dots are there? Nine dots. You have to join all nine dots using four straight lines, okay? Which means you cannot use a curved line. Yeah, I will give you a variant of this so that I can cross check whether you will go to IT or not. Okay. Join all nine dots using four straight lines. Which means curved line is allowed, not allowed? Not allowed. Not allowed. Okay. And you cannot lift your pen off your sheet of paper. Which means you cannot draw this, lift your hand, draw this. Once you start, you just have to finish the whole problem before you lift your hand out. Okay. Any questions? You have only two minutes, your time starts now. Can we go over to point twice? Yeah, other than this you can do anything. Other than these three conditions, you can do anything. Your time has started. Those who have done this, Tejas and? Arko. 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 A-R-K-O. A-R-K-O. Oh, Arko. You have to do with three lines. a little bit more creative. How many lines? How much? Sir, at this point, it's valid. Lift yourself a little bit. 
Good, very good. What's your name? Akshit. Akshit. Akshit has done it. Ten seconds left. Hurry up. Okay, good. Good. Four dots. Two people have done it. Okay, do you need a clue? Yes. How many of you want a clue? Put your hand up. Don't want a clue? What? Okay. Okay. Alright, here is a clue. Are you... No, it, it is not necessary that you have to turn like this when, when you come to this dot or this dot or this dot you know there is no there is no restriction that you cannot go beyond this line is that good enough clue think outside the box think outside the box that's what iit is all about iit is not about doing it by road just think outside the box the solution lies there yes yes nikita has done it yes What's your name? Pratamesh has done it. Pratamesh has done it. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Okay, let's move on. Who will come and do it on the board? Okay, very good. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. How many of you got, managed to get this? Okay. You've done this. See this carefully. But we will spend 5-10 minutes on this, understanding what you will go through in the next 2 years in your journey into the IITs. Okay? So we will come and spend 10 minutes on that, but before that please note it down. The homework for you is doing it with 3 lines. And it is as simple as this. Now you know the secret. The secret of solving difficult problems is not to try very hard. It is to try out of the box. Think differently. Think creatively. Don't get limited by how you were thinking earlier. Okay, but let, once once you have noted it down, I will also give you my my email ID in case we are not meeting for the next couple of weeks. You could you could send the solution to me, or you could give it to uh, uh, anybody who is in the center. If I am not there when you are here, I will pick it up. Okay, leave your name and email ID, your telephone number, and we will talk if you want. Okay. Now, I want you to spend a couple of, just, just, just a minute and think about one simple thing. All of us saw what happened. Let, just to let you, let, just to make sure that all of us are together, let me make it, let me state that. I am saying that the problem that was given, that was not so difficult problem. Is it okay? Am I right? Now that he has come and solved it, you know that? It is not a very difficult problem, is it? Not a very difficult problem. It's not like the, the most difficult numerical that you may find of physics when you when you're going to prepare for IIT. Very much, much simpler than that. Okay? However, when it is given to me, when a problem is given to me and the other person demands performance from me, I end up getting stuck. I was not able to solve the problem though I was capable of solving it. I want to know why could I not solve it? I want you to answer the question why could you not solve it? What are the reasons? I want to hear one or two or three reasons. Why could you not solve it? Pressure. Pressure, okay. Janesh says pressure. Can you elaborate that? Like you said that if you do this to get into I, you ah, everyone is like wow. Absolutely, absolutely. So you are saying pressure of performance. Yeah of performance. Was it valid to a couple of more people in, in this group? How many of you? That is valid? Okay. That pressure was built partly by me. What did I say? You do this well and you can go and book your ticket. What does it mean? If I don't do well, if I don't solve the problem, then what happens to me? It means I can, I can, can I not get into IITs? So that kind of added the pressure. Excellent. Any other point? Fear of failure. What's your name? Ratnadeep says, there was also something called fear of failure that I experienced. Can you elaborate that please? If you don't fail, then everyone will be disappointed with us. Oh, oh. Ratnadeep is saying, if I fail, I will end up disappointing or letting down not only myself, but a few people around me. Yes or no? You know, on a, on a, on a Monday morning, Today is Monday, right? On a Monday morning, 
dad has called up his office and said, or mom has called up her office and said, I will come a couple of hours late. They have come along with you. No, they are also building a lot of hopes and expectations. Which class are you for? Yeah. Yeah. What is the time? Why late? Not, not, not ever again, okay? Second batch. Second batch. Okay, did, 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 does that make sense? He's saying that fear of failure or letting down people also build a little bit of pressure or that, that's, that stop me from performing at my best. Okay? Not thinking also about Excellent. What's your name? Varun. Varun. Varun says, not thinking outside the box. Can you elaborate that, uh, Varun? In a, in a little bit simpler terms. I don't think that people extend the line you know, outside the doors. Ah, Always of inside the doors itself. Excellent, excellent. Why did that happen? That is that, that is a that is a symptom. What is the cause if you think a little deeper? How has it been the way of thinking in these ten years? Inside the box. Inside the box. Inside the box. The syllabus was only such that we had to always look Absolutely. into the books. Absolutely. Nothing outside Absolutely. the books. Yes. All of these things have conditioned me, you know, at the end of the day, I'm not thinking out of the box, I'm thinking in a given set pattern. I am talking about very strong mindset or uh, you know inside the box thinking, okay? Or you could call it conditioning. No, I I don't have to think. I don't have to strain myself and think creatively with imagination and have five different approaches. It is a very simple thing. Class 10th exam. This is the syllabus. This is the kind of problems. There is a there is a career question paper. Question number seven has got repeated every fourth year. This is that fourth year. There are seven steps to this problem. Do it, write it, write it, write it, write it. Go away, write it again, you get your marks. What, what it tells me is that you have somewhere got stuck into that mold and you have to break that mold now if you are aspiring to get into IEDs. Does it make sense? Yeah? And that has to be done very consciously. Anything which is told to you has to be questioned like any imaginative youngster would do. Okay? Excellent. What else? Anything else? Yeah. Uh, mind is programmed to that kind of thing. Okay. Sure. Fair enough. So, uh, and, and in this, in this, what kind of programming did you see? So, you did not think of going outside the... I did not think. I did not, I did think, not think of, think of going outside. Good. And, and, and look at it, look at it in a very simple manner. In, in, what is the, what is the imagination, imaginative uh, uh, picture, geometrical picture in, in which, in which the dots are arranged? What was it? Yes. So, yes. so all the solutions that you were imagining were approximately closer to square or a rhombus or a rectangle in shape. What is the final solution look like? Make sense? Okay. Good. Anything else? Anything else? Let me just let me just uh, give you uh, uh, one more thought and check if this was also applicable. No, when you were doing the exercise and you were struggling with it, somebody put his hand up or put her hand up and said, "I have finished." What did that do anything to you? Just speak for yourself. Increase the pressure. Increase the pressure. That, that somebody in my peer group has done it and we always have this little bit of doubt about ourselves. Am I right or wrong? You know, is there anybody who can stand up today and say, Sab log hat jao, mera ticket book ho gaya, main IIT ja raun. No. Maybe there is a little bit of silent confidence with some of us. Maybe there is a little bit of a hope in a lot of us. Maybe there is a huge amount of whatever uh, uh, potential in each one of us. But there is somewhere this self-doubt which got questioned, which became big. The moment somebody said, sir, I finished. And you tell yourself, oh God, one is time is getting over. I have not done it. And three people have done it. Am I good enough? Make sense? And is that question not a very big question when you think of an IIT? Am I good enough? Is it, is it not a big question? It's a huge question. Okay? It's very important for us to Look at these processes, day one, then we set the goals and you will find that it is not as difficult as it is made out to be. The guys who went to IITs are just like you and me and, and, and we, will, we will give you examples of 
hundreds of students who never thought they will ever make it to IITs, who never, who did not pass the, the, the test that you have taken. You've taken the test, right? You score the 30, 40, 51, 63. There are students who have taken the test and I remember the, the name of the student that Arun Rai sir keeps talking about, score was 7. And she came and insisted that, sir, I was not in the right frame of mind. Can I take a retest? She took a retest. Score was still only 23. And she went to one of the IITs. Somebody wanted to do computer science, right? Who was that? Yeah, under 2003, you can pick the institute, you can pick the course, and they have either me or other around. Imagine able to say that to an IIT. You want to be in that position, right? And you are all better positioned than what, what Shreya was when she started off. Anything else, if not, we will move on. And all I want you to do is, if, if these are the reasons, just, just remove this particular 9 dot exercise and put IIT JEE in place of this 9 dot exercise and see if all the things that stopped you from performing, are they still valid or not? Are they valid? Yes. Pressure of performing? Huge amount. You know the amount of time you are investing, the amount of things that you will be foregoing. You know instead of going on a holiday to a cousin's place, you are here. You know some cousin email aata hai. We are going to Shimla, and I say, "Me kaam fas gaya." The the investment the family is making is it a small amount? No, they have not spent thirty thousand rupees in one stretch for you in the last fifteen years. All the money they have spent is on, is on education, education and more of education. So somewhere it also must be playing in your minds, not, they will not ever tell you that Fear of failure, makes sense. Mindset, what is the mindset of IIT? It's an easy examination. How is it? Different, different. different. I'm very happy to hear it's different and not difficult. That is something that you must, you must get used to. It's not difficult, and you don't have to. You don't have to score 85 to get into IITs. We'll, we'll talk more about the cutoffs, etc. In the, in the next few sessions, we'll do more of orientation. But the mindset that it's a very difficult examination to crack, the mindset that I am not good enough for it, has to be removed as soon as possible. The sooner you start thinking and talking to yourself, I am made to get into IIT or IIT is made for me, that kind of a mental approach and the equally uh, much needed hard work, it, 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 will, it will make it easy for you. Peer pressure, it will be a lot. We will have a test here, we will have a monthly test, we will have a progressive test, we will have a mock test, you will face this problem? Yes or no? You know, this friend of yours with whom you have been working, together all the time, he's got little high than you've got or you've got higher than somebody else has got, both could affect you and it's important to recognize that while you're getting into it. Okay? All you need to do when you take a test is to understand where you are understand, and understand why you are there. It is not pass a judgment, it's more of a status report. So if you know that if you're 35th in this class of 45, it tells me that the effort is missing. I cannot come to any other conclusion about this batch of students. Because we have taken the test in the beginning. Okay? Okay, turn to the second page in this. Okay, we first do the second exercise before coming to the first one. Remember, we, we spoke about doing things differently than we have done in the past. And it says that you are going to do now in the next 15 minutes. This is not a quiz, so don't worry. You have to take 10 minutes to write these down. What does it read? Five step approach to goal setting. Let's just go over each one of these. The first question is, it is asking you, what is your goal statement for your career? You could write IIT, you could write something else. Somebody said, I want to become an aerospace scientist. Okay, somebody said, I want to uh, pursue computer engineering. Whatever comes to your mind, don't worry, just let it flow, flow freely. Second question is, write down, what do you think are the benefits of accomplishing that goal? Is that, does it make sense? Yes or no? Can I hear a couple? 
What are the benefits of getting into an IIT and, and doing whatever you want to do? Going to the US, excellent, okay. Sure job opportunities. Sure job opportunities, very good. Gaining self-confidence. Gaining in self-confidence. Good salaries. Good salaries, okay. Anybody who is not spoken different from the people, common people. Okay, being different. I, I don't belong to the all the guys, you know, the gang that I see. I'm, I'm a little different from others. Prestige. Prestige, it adds to my self-esteem. For me to offer higher education. Okay, so it opens up my higher educational opportunities very, very, very well. This is true for you, hence write it down. We are talking about what is motivating me or the benefits arising out of getting into IIT. Whatever it's in your imagination, just, just put it down there. You know, when, when, we, are, when we are setting out to, to get to a big goal, and, and you must understand, if you, if anybody of you goes to Yale, Yale University, after doing your IIT and you want to do MS and you go to Yale University, you will find that today also you can, when you go to the web, you can find this out. They have got a seven step approach to goal setting. We have simplified this for us, you know, that is a little for us. When you get to postgraduate, we will do a seven step approach. But just think in a, in a very, in a very simple manner. When you think of a goal, can you think of a goal without obstacles? Yes or no? No. no. So when you are thinking of an IIT and computer engineering in IIT as a goal, does it throw up some obstacles in your mind? What are those? Can I hear a couple of them? The percentage of students getting into IIT is only 1%. Okay. Okay. So competition is an obstacle. Only 1% get to the IITs. So I must be in, the, in that 1% to get there. Excellent. What are the two kinds of obstacles? Mental. One is? Mental. Yeah. One is internal obstacles and the other are? External <laughs> obstacles. Competition is an external obstacle. Internal way of thinking is an internal obstacle. Excellent. What else? Time constraint. Time constraint. Excellent. Can you elaborate that? Pressure of performing. Yeah. Yes, I need to manage my time for the school curriculum and also do this. Time, I still have only 24 hours a day. How do I manage that? Any other obstacle? Changing your mindset. Changing your mindset. Exactly what she said. Self doubt. Self doubt, again an internal internal obstacle. Lack of concentration. Lack of concentration. So it could be it could be any temptation of other activities. Temptation of other activities, distractions, or in other words, you know, disciplining myself is something that I must do to overcome some kind of obstacle. So just think through and put down. You know, because when 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 I read these sheets and give it back to you, if you put it on your wall and four months down the line, if you do a self appraisal, which is very important in any, in any goal chasing process, na? Aaj ekdam garmi mein aake, kisi jaro pe de diya, aur class aake attend karne lage, char hafte ho gaye, and then you realize that my friends have gone ahead because they're very, very uh, meticulous in their planning, very disciplined in their execution. If you are not, you will find that the gap is increasing. And at that time, if you look at this paper on, on your wall, you should be able to find what is the, what are the obstacles that I have not been able to overcome. Okay. What is the next question? How will pursuing IIT help you accomplish your goal? If there is a if there is a longer distance goal, whatever occurs to your mind, is anybody anybody has got other than IIT? One thing is clear, you want to get into IIT. What after IIT? Have you thought? Civil services. Okay. IIMs, excellent. Anything else? Not only these jobs and all, you also change your frame of mind, you change your life. Right. So change your life. Change your life. So I want to be able to feel that myself. You know that that my horizon, mental horizon, has broadened. The way of my thinking has become more insightful. Very good. Want to go to NASA? So you know, if, if you have those longer distance goal, NASA, civil services, I, uh, I am, etc. It also helps you to think about. How do I get to those longer term goals? At least thinking is very important. And it also helps us as your teachers to know where are you go, wanting to go and is there anything that we could do to help you there. You know, the way we look at uh, our, our role here is not just teach you maths and physics and chemistry that you can learn from a large number of people. Can I help you think about the way you could go about your career, the way you could look at your life? I think it's, it's, it's far more important. Okay? Take a look at the last question on, on, on the reverse side. If you want to win a frontier, you want to win a cricket match or, 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 or a war against China, you don't think it's going to be a war from Pakistan. But if you want to go and win, win an opponent, just having the motivation to win is not good enough. 
is it? It must be converted into a very specific action plan. Right? So, given your understanding at this point in time, just write down, spend 5 minutes and write down what do you think is the best approach according to you. Just write it down today. What we will also give you in the, when you come for the next class on Saturday is a handout which tells you what should be the established plan of action. You know?